Hey Luke, uh, sorry for the slight delay. Uh, the holidays sort of got in the way of, of things here, but um, your package is here and I'm going to go ahead and get it opened up and get things started with your watch. So make sure that you see the condition as it's arrived so I can give you a proper assessment. Well packaged here. Nice. Okay. Let's put that side here. Okay. Very cool. All right. Side that'll come back to you, of course. And here's your. Oh, lovely. Very, very nice. Full head. Make sure that comes back to you. Okay. So. Oh, what a nice watch. Okay. All right, so like you said, you definitely need a new crystal. Um, looks like your bezel took a bit of a punch here. Um, there's got some right here where this crack is. The, uh, the bezel seems to have taken a bit of a divot there. So that's something to keep in mind as we go back together. You've got some damage to your bezel, um, but that's okay. Um, hopefully that's um, not indicative of a, of a hard shunt to the rest of the watch because we've got to be careful with things like pivots and uh, and whatnot. Uh, but it's right here at your opening uh, point, so we'll, we'll get to look at it as we go. Um, nice original band, very nice. Okay, um, this is a 1977, February 77 with your original bracelet. This offset, really cool, um, you know, unidirectional ba bracelet. It's bigger on the top than it is on the bottom, which is such a neat thing. Um, case is in great shape. You've got a really great set of case lines here. These are really sharp um, and the, the brushing is still quite good on most of it. Um, I'm going to see if it's working. It may not be at this point because nope, it doesn't look like your chronograph is going around. I'm going to give it a bit of a wind and there we go. We're taking off some. Okay, that's good. See how we're setting with the hands. Okay, hand setting is, is pretty good. Good. You definitely need some new seals and you may need some looking at your cannon pinion. It seems a bit loose. Uh, your quick date, that's good. All right, both directions. Okay, so all in all looks really quite solid. I'm gonna put some power into the watch and just see um, what the numbers look like here. So my time graph are on and we're gonna give a give a close look um, what the numbers look like. Just so we know what our starting point is by comparison. Okay, so let's 
Let's get it on the time grapher. Make sure we've got enough power. It's really, really nice looking watch. That's great. Okay, so this is chronograph on. You know, it's not, it's not terrible. Um, you know, I've seen, I've seen a lot worse, uh, for sure. Starting numbers are in the 200s, gaining a little time, and you got some beat error. But you know what? Um, that's not terrible. Um, so that means we're in a good place. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick demagnetize just to make sure that there's no issue there, of course. Um, okay. So, let's give it another look. I'll reset your chronograph here. Oh, yeah. Resets to zero. It's nice to see. All right. So, back on. So much going on here. This is with your chronograph wheel off. It's a little less stable. Not really able to pick up an amplitude. Let's turn your chronograph wheel on and see what we get. See if that cleans up. Yeah. Okay, so certainly running. Um, Pretty good numbers. Not not bad. Not bad at all. I think we're I think we're starting off in a really good spot. And um, you know, we're gonna try and make make a lot of improvements on that. So um, you know your signal isn't necessarily straight. Um, it has some wobble to it. Um, but you know that could be any number of, of things, could be mainspring, could be uh, just needs lubrication of course. So I'm going to go ahead and um, send this very short video to you, um, letting you know that everything got here. Uh, your handset looks great. Your, your case has some slight damage just due to the fact that apparently whatever cracked your, your um, crystal also uh, knocked your bezel. And that, you know, we've got some work to do on your movement. But overall, uh, this looks like a good place to start. Okay, well thank you Luke, and uh, we'll get started ASAP. Um, you are next on the bench, so we're going to get going. Okay, thank you very much.